one story. So last Wednesday, I traveled down to San Antonio, Joint Base San Antonio, and uh, just it was actually the morning after we'd uh, received a number of folks off of uh, Princess Cruise Line. And uh, so I had a chance to meet uh, face to face with the uh, HHS leader, Skip Leitner, and his team, the CDC team that was there, the doctors that were there. And then there was a team, New York One, led by Mr. Diamond, who were actually taking care of all of the passengers that, as they went through. And I will just tell you that, uh, that it, was, uh, it was a real uh, positive experience in terms of seeing the professionalism. I, I want to just give a shout out to the HHS team that I saw at work there. I mean, it made you proud to be an American. You know, uh, Skip Leitner is, a, is an engineer uh, trained in this. And these are like our Air National Guardsmen, right? They're called up and in an hour's notice, they pack their bag and they head into a crisis. And so everyone I met there was doing something else full time in their civilian role and then joined HHS uh, to do this. And so uh, it was a very impressive operation. One of the things that we do, of course, is, uh, is we bring to that, uh, to that team a lot of local connections. And the wing commander down there, uh, the Joint Base San Antonio commander, Brigadier General Laurel Lindemann, who's one of our best and brightest, has established this great relationship with the mayor, uh, Mayor Nuremberg. He joined us for the day and got to see the operation in action. And so this is, this is what we do. You know, we, we, we roll in with our sleeves up and, uh, and help doing defense of civilian support agencies, in this particular case, HHS. And uh, I was really impressed with the operation I saw there in San Antonio.